welcome to Skopje. I did say on the last video that I would do a post from Skopje and that's what I'm doing now. It is cold. Uh, it is the 18th of March. It is the coldest day I've ever had in Skopje. I think only on one previous visit was it raining. It's always been sunny. Earlier on today, I came out to record some video. It didn't go too well. Um, years ago, I got introduced to a phrase which was the six P's, which means prior planning and preparation prevents poor performance. Um, and guess what? All my devices are now out of battery. So that's not a good start, is it? <laughs> I've charged up my batteries, not my physical batteries, my camera batteries. And now we're going to sample some chivap from Skopje. And my good friend Rista says, Destan, uh, on the other side of the stone bridge is the place to go. So that is what I'm gonna do. And hopefully they take cards because I don't have any local currency. Today has been a bit of a catastrophe for me. Prior planning and preparation prevents poor performance. That's what I always say. And today I've proven I can't even abide by my own recommendations. I always find this sad to see. But I suppose it's life. I say it every time that I come to this city. This is a city of statues. Small. And very large. I don't know how many there are in this city, but I would suggest, or guess at least, that there must be over a hundred. It's chilly. Why didn't I bring something warmer? I have apps on my phone that I never use, and then the ones that I should use I don't even get the benefit out of them. We're coming up to the stone bridge, which goes across the major river that runs through Skopje. And on the other side is the Chashir. I think that's the way it's pronounced, which happens to be the biggest bazaar in Europe. And uh, I'm not 100% if that's true, but people say it is. So, we won't see much of it today because I'm cold and I'm hungry. Chestnuts reminds me of London when I was a kid. See what I mean about statues? Absolutely everywhere. say that so much. So 
So what I went for was Skopko Pivo, which is from Skopje, and 10 kebabs, or 10 pieces. I think I'm going to enjoy this. It's part of my kebab, chivap education, really. And you need education all the time, like beer. Absolutely first class. Great. Well, that was me having my up at Destan, which apparently is the oldest restaurant in Skopje. And it's the place to go for up. I have to say, really, really tasty. I don't think it's too expensive, but yeah, as you can see, we're now dark o'clock. So I will come back on another time to do um, a more comprehensive um, video of uh, Skopje. Hope that the low light on this camera is at least showing you something of my face. And um, yeah, we'll just see what the walk back looks like, but at night time, because cities often look a lot nicer, I think, when they're lit up. Let's see. So we're at the end of this video from this visit to Skopje, North Macedonia. I'm going to get back to my hotel now. I'm just outside the front door. If you like this video, <clears throat> please do share it. If you have comments on the video, comments that you want answered about Skopje, I will do my best to answer them. At least I'm being authentic. As you saw at the start, Everything went wrong today for filming, but rather than just say, I did say I was going to do a video, so I am going to do a video. Tomorrow, I'm traveling back very early, leaving the hotel at four o'clock in the morning, and hopefully we'll be back in the village in Bosnia and Herzegovina at around one o'clock. I'm sure I'll be posting stories on Instagram and other outlets during my journey. And if you have ideas for other videos that you want me to make that you can watch here, well, just put the comments below. Thanks very much for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Here we are, Hotel Tourist, Best Western, Skopje. Ciao for now. Fidi Musa Kasnia, and I'll see you later.